Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. to come and be a part of our glory divine family you never choose jesus he chose you welcome to glory divine network tv with your host apostle ryan suknanan let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired word of god glory to god glory to god hallelujah praise the lord magnify the holy name of Jesus on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday all the way from the United States of South Africa. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are going to praise the Lord. We are going to worship the Lord. We are going to magnify His holy name. And we are going to get ready for what the Lord has prepared for us this beautiful morning hallelujah greet your family greet your husband greet your children greet whoever is with you and say the lord has an appointment with you hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord amen 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 hallelujah glory to god magnify his name lift up his name worship him and praise him this morning Walk in expectation for something great to happen, hallelujah, for the supernatural to invade the natural. Glory to God. I'm excited for what the Lord is going to do this morning, hallelujah. I greet everybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. Glory, divine family, every other people that is joining, you are loved, you are welcome, hallelujah, amen to sit or to stand or whatever and just enjoy what the Holy Spirit has prepared for you this morning. So welcome everybody. Hallelujah. I can see everybody coming into the presence of God already. Hallelujah. Larissa, uh, Frigo, uh, Lynette, Fiona, Kenneth. Hallelujah. Amen. Larissa, hallelujah, is one of our spiritual daughters that is in the usa she is so faithful she's in every service even if she has to wake up like one in the morning to just to watch because of the time difference so i pray that you are blessed there hallelujah glory to god ishana isai lynette sylvia amen aaron pile glory to god god is going to do something great this morning share this message let's interact write your comments write your prayer request down where two or three agree on anything hallelujah there's power in agreement i lay my hands on every request comments and i pray and i believe god is going to do something hallelujah amen let's open in prayer <laughs> heavenly father we come to you in the mighty matchless name Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we, let's lift up our hands, hallelujah, as reverence. We are in expectation this morning. We are hopeful this morning, O oh God, that you are going to speak to us. At the same time, you sent your word to heal, so you are going to restore us, you're going to heal, you're going to open doors, hallelujah, amen. Your great miracle shall manifest this morning. Lord, let your anointing touch us this morning. Saturate us with your anointing. Hallelujah. Let your glory fill our homes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Meet us at the point of our need this morning. Holy Spirit, we give you preeminence this morning. Lord, we cover ourselves under your precious blood. From the crown of our head to the soles of our feet this morning. To the very palms of our hands. We are in expectation, Lord. Lord, we are going to listen to your word. Our faith is going to increase. And Lord, we know that we are going to activate the supernatural. We're going to engage the supernatural this morning. No fear. 
No uncertainty, no helplessness, no help, hopelessness is going to bring us down, oh God. Every test will turn into a testimony. Every mess, a message. Every disappointment, an appointment. Hallelujah. Amen. Every, every uh, disgrace into grace. Every shame into fame. Hallelujah. Amen. Every trials into triumphs. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have your own way. Make our ears attentive, O God. Make our heart receptive through your anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit the service. We commit the airwaves. We commit every instrument that we are using into your hands, Father. We apply your blood upon it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God, church. Glory to God. Lift up your hands and give the Lord a praise offering. Hallelujah. As we get into worship, then we're going to get into the word. I have a powerful word. Pros position to prosper. You will never prosper until you know your position and accept your position. This is part three. Hallelujah. And I'm still laying the foundation. And when I come to prosperity... Prosperity is going to flood you, hallelujah, like a tsunami in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good, God is good, God is good. Hallelujah, are you blessed? Say, I'm blessed. Glory to God. Let the atmosphere hear. Hallelujah. Let the atmosphere hear that you are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I am blessed. Let the devil hear, I am blessed. Hallelujah. Let your sickness hear, I am blessed. Let your problem hear, I am blessed. Your confession shall bring your possession. Death and life is at the power of your tongue. Hallelujah. In your sickness, say, I am healed. In your poverty, say, I am rich. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in your unemployment, say, I am employed. Glory to God. Declare and it shall be established. Hallelujah. There's an awesome presence of God this morning in this place, in your place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Church, I'm going to get into the message of God. And I believe God has a special word for you. Share this message. Invite your friends and families. Hallelujah. They shall be blessed. Glory to God. I'm establishing something. In, in uh, position to prosper part one. Position to prosper part two. I've been laying the foundation. Hallelujah. Position to prosper three. I'm still laying the foundation. And I'm going to start building a little. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to stay with me. I want you to stay with me, hallelujah, because remember your foundation must be strong. And once you know your position, you're standing in God, you will definitely prosper. Not the devils, not the demon, not even the aunties and uncles can stop the blessings of God coming to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'm excited this morning for what the Lord is about to speak to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to bring the word of God very simply for you to understand, for everybody to understand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Say the word is light and life. The word is light and life. Hallelujah. It's a lamp unto me. Hallelujah. That will illuminate my path. Glory to God. Will shine light. Hallelujah. On the darkness. And the darkness shall flee. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalms 34. Verse 17 to 19. New King James Version. Verse 1. Uh, part 1 and part 2. I'm touching on a foundation. A principle of the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. A belief system, a foundational belief system. Hallelujah. That you've got to believe. Then all these things that the Bible promises shall come to you. Now the psalmist says in Psalms 34 verse 17 to 19, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And whatever I'm speaking is centered around this psalm, centered around this verse, this statement. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. Hallelujah. 
and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. Hallelujah. And save such have a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. What am I trying to establish here? Hallelujah. What am I trying to establish in part one, in part two, in part three? Who is the righteous? Hallelujah. Who is the righteous? You and I are the righteous of God. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. The righteous cry out and the Lord delivers them. The righteous cry out, hallelujah, and God delivers them out of all their mess, out of all their trials, out of all their testing, out of all their sickness, out of all their diseases, out of all their burdens, out of all their problems, out of all their temptations. Hallelujah, glory to God. That's the promise of God and take it to the bank. Hallelujah. Amen. Now in part one and part two, I went into a lot of details. Hallelujah. Which I'm not going to go because I want you to listen to those sermon. It's on YouTube. It's on my Facebook. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Second Corinthians. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures just to establish the basis of this message for you to just to catch a grip of what I've been talking about. Hallelujah. But listen carefully because Leicester Moy, because I'm not going to explain these scriptures. These scriptures are very self-explanatory. Hallelujah. But it will strengthen the foundation of this message. Glory to God. Second Corinthians 5 verse 21. Remember, I'm, I'm reading from the New King James Version. Second Corinthians 5 verse 21. The Bible says, for he made him. Hallelujah. Who knew no son. For he made him who knew no sin, nix, hallelujah, to be sin for us, hallelujah, that we might become the righteousness, the righteousness, the righteousness, the righteousness of God in him. And who is the person who God hears? The God, God hears the righteous and God delivers the righteous from all troubles. And here the Bible is talking to us. Paul is saying to us, Jesus became sin for us, that our sins went on to him, that we became the righteousness of God. So I can rejoice right now and say, thank you, Jesus, that whatever I'm going through right now, you are listening to my cry because I'm righteous in Christ. When you look at me, I am the righteousness of God and you hear my prayer. Hallelujah. Romans 11 verse 6. Romans 11 verse 6. Once you understand your position, there's no condemnation. Don't be sin conscious. Be grace conscious. Write it down. Don't be sin conscious. If you are sin conscious, sin will never leave you. If you are grace conscious, grace will give you the power to overcome sin. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand this morning that Jesus loves us so much. Hallelujah. Romans 11 verse 6. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. You cannot earn it. You cannot try to make yourself better. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, decisions need to, need to be made. Yes, choices need to be made. But the glory of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, hallelujah, will help you. Hallelujah. And by if by grace, then it is no longer of works, no longer of works, no longer of self-effort. Hallelujah. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. Hallelujah. But if it is of Works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. Hallelujah. Let's get to Galatians 5, verse 4. Hallelujah. I'm just reading the scriptures because I already preached on it in the part 1 and part 2. But just to get a foundation before I get into the message of today, you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Galatians 5, verse 4. Galatians 5, verse 4. You have become estranged from Christ. Hallelujah. You who attempt to be justified by law, you who attempt to be justified by religion, you who attempt to be justified by self-righteousness, you who 
wants or attempt to be justified by self works, self works. Hallelujah. You have fallen from grace. Glory to God. What a strong statement. I don't want to fall from grace. Neither do you want to fall from grace. Hallelujah. You're going to just lift up your hands this morning and say, it's all about you, Jesus. It's nothing about me. Hallelujah. It's everything that you did at the cross. Hallelujah. I cannot take no credit for nothing. I will come as I am. I'll come to your knee. I'll come to your altars. I will lift up my hands and say like Paul, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Hallelujah. Your grace is sufficient for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Romans 3 verse 25. Romans 3 verse 25. Whom God set forth as a propitiation of his blood through faith. Through what? Through works? No. To self-effort? No. To self-righteousness? No. Hallelujah. You can be a person that never smoked in your life. You can be a person that never drank in your life. Alcohol. You can be a person that never stole in your life. You can be a person that was so holy and self-righteous, self-holy and self-righteous, but you are still a sinner like a murderer. You are still a sinner like a person on death row. You are still like a sinner as an adulterer. There's no big sin or small sin to differentiate the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You either accept grace or you're out of grace. And when you're out of grace, you are considered like the worst sinner condemned to hell. No matter how good you are. It is only through the blood of Jesus. It is only through the provision of the cross. So this will make you not to judge people. Hallelujah. What I mention right now will make you not to judge people. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you will look at yourself and say, thank you, Jesus. It is through the grace of God that I can worship God. It is through the grace of God that I have a family, that I'm a good father, that I'm a good husband, that I'm a good wife. It is only through the grace of God that I am who I am. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Romans 3 verse 25, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate our lesson to it through faith to demonstrate his righteousness hallelujah not our righteousness because Isaiah says our righteousness is like filthy garments hallelujah hallelujah to demonstrate his righteousness because of his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. I went very deep last week and spoke about propitiation through the blood. Propitiation, hallelujah, means that God's anger is calmed. God's anger is satisfied. Hallelujah. Why? The full might, listen to me, the full might of God's anger and wrath burned on the cross on Jesus Christ when all the sins of humanity was put upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. A righteous God, a sinless God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ took all our sins and all our unrighteousness so we can become sinless, perfect, holy, acceptable, and righteous through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God and propitiation. Amen. A holy God cannot touch sin. A holy God cannot come near sin. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we needed the blood of Jesus. And now God looks at us through the blood of Jesus. We are already seated in high and heavenly places with the authority and the power and the dominionship transferred back unto us. We have the power to trample over the works of the enemy. Come on, somebody say, we have the power to trample over over the works of the enemy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Leicester Moy. That is by a Belangric. Scrafe. Hallelujah. As I said last week. Bala. 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 Hallelujah. There was an exchange that took place. Hallelujah. An exchange that took place at the cross. The provision of the cross. What is the provision of the cross? Write it there. It was the death of Hallelujah. Amen. It was the crucifixion, the death, 
Hallelujah. Amen. The resurrection, the ascension, and the continuation of the Holy Spirit. Five. Glory to God. Five represents grace. Five represents grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. So there was an exchange. God takes all the sinless righteousness of Jesus Christ and he puts it on you. Did you hear that? God takes all the sinless, the holiness, the perfection, righteousness of Jesus Christ, and he puts it on you. In Romans chapter 10, verse 8 to 10, the day you accepted Jesus and confessed Romans chapter 10, Verse 8 to 10, write that down and read it at home. If I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, that Jesus Christ died for me, hallelujah. His precious blood was shed for me. And you accept salvation. Glory to God. All that, his perfection, his righteousness, his holiness, everything comes upon you. And when God looks at you, he looks at you as a saint. Hallelujah. That is your position. And if you don't believe that position, you will be sin conscious and you will not be grace conscious. So grace with all its power, sanctification power, hallelujah, will not be able to work in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And perfect you day by day. Because the devil and demons will condemn you and you will become self-righteous and you will try to make yourself worthy. You will walk in condemnation and condemnation chases you away from God. Conviction, hallelujah, draws you towards God. Glory to God, hallelujah, amen. So there was an exchange that took place. When I am walking right now, I am the perfection of God. When I'm walking right now, I am the righteousness of God. When I'm walking right now, when God looks at me, he looks at me holy, acceptable, and sinless. It doesn't care what I did last summer. Can I, can I repeat that? It doesn't care what I did last summer. The blood is more powerful than your weakness. The blood is more powerful than your weakness. Write it down. The blood is more powerful than your weakness. I am not going to allow my weakness to be greater than my God. Because Jesus did not come, hallelujah, for the righteous. He came for the sinners so that sinners can be made righteous. Hallelujah. And once you accept your position, the glory of God comes upon you. Once you accept your position, the anointing of God, the presence of God starts washing you. Once you hear the word of God, the word of God starts washing you. The blood of Jesus starts cleansing you. And you can say, oh, I am not the same person that I was yesterday. Because day by day, my mind is being renewed. Day by day, the things I used to do, I do them no more. Because the presence of God is surrounding me. And when the presence of God surrounds me, because I receive my position, the devil flees from me. Demon flees from me. The works of the devil flees from me. And in time... Hallelujah, I become a community leader. In time, I become a good husband. In time, I become a good employee. In time, I become a good father. In time, I become a good wife. In time, I become an obedient son, a daughter. Hallelujah, it is the grace of God. It is not self-worth. Hallelujah, it is the power of God working unto salvation. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Church, for two weeks, I am laying the foundation. Hallelujah. The foundation of the house is the most important part. Leicester Moy, listen to me. The foundation, write it down there. The foundation of the house is the most important part. It might look ugly. If you really go down and see the foundation, hallelujah. The people who make the foundation, they will not go and try to make it so beautiful. The foundation is something that you cannot see, but it is one of the most important part of a building. 
It is the foundation that will determine how high the building can go. Come and write it there. It is the foundation that will determine how high the building can go. If the foundation is not strong, the second story you go, hallelujah, will start cracking and collapsing. And that is why our life disintegrates uh, because our foundation is not strong. Our belief system is not right. Hallelujah. Right believing will end up right living. Hallelujah. Right believing will end up into right thinking. Glory to God. Glory to God. The foundation of your Christian belief will determine your success and prosperity. Write it down. The foundation of your Christian belief, hallelujah, will determine your success and your prosperity. Glory to God. It is not about what the outside world can do to you. Write it down. It's not about what the outside world can do to me. Hallelujah. It is about what I do to myself. It's a very strong statement. Write it there. My greatest enemy is not from the outside. My greatest enemy is from within. Hallelujah. How do I think? How do I perceive things? How do I assume things? Hallelujah. What is inside my soul? My traditions, my culture, my belief system. Hallelujah. You got to attend to that. And that is why Paul says, renew your mind. Your mind is part of your soul. Stinking thinking. Hallelujah. Will give you stinking living. Stinking thinking will give you stinking living. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, I want to fight this man. I want to fight that woman. I want to take that from that person. I want to do this and do that. No, if you don't get yourself right. The Bible say everything proceeded from your heart. Your future is framed from your heart. Your relationships are kept through your heart issues. Your prosperity depends on your heart, your character, everything. If that is not attended, I'll give you 2,000, a 2 million tomorrow. Hallelujah. In one year time, you will have nothing. So everybody is running after the wrong things. Everybody is running after external and they're not focusing in the eternal, internal. Hallelujah. Your foundation determines how high your building can be built. Your foundation will determine how far can you go in life. Glory to God. Glory to God. First Corinthians. Listen to what the word of God says. First Corinthians 3 verse 10 and 11. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 10 and 11. According to the grace of God. What? According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Can somebody shout hallelujah? According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder. What? A wise master. I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. Hallelujah. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. Hallelujah. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is already laid, which is Christ Jesus. No other foundation. Not a man's movement. Hallelujah. Amen. Not what man can give to you. Not the promises that is vain. Everybody makes promises, especially election time. And after six months, nothing is done. Hallelujah. I can hold the promises of God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says all promises of God is yes in Christ. God is faithful to produce as long as, hallelujah, we can build right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell the person who's next to you. Hallelujah. Build your foundation strong. I am preaching this gospel for 30 years. I have never been a saint. Hallelujah. Prior to 30 years, I've written a book. I made a movie of who I was. Hallelujah. But it is Jesus that kept me strong. It is Jesus that made me who I am today because I decided to build on him. I decided to build on a strong foundation. So every year my building can go higher and higher. I claim nothing. I take no glory. I don't boast 
in myself. What I have attained, what I have achieved, what I'm going to achieve is because of the foundation. The master builder is Jesus Christ, the cornerstone of my building. And I pray today, will you make him the master builder of your life? Will you make him the cornerstone? The Bible says cornerstone. The cornerstone holds the whole building together. Even the wind blows, even the huff and puff of the wolf comes, you will still be standing because your foundation is strong. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Am I talking to you? Hallelujah. Bull. And the Bible is talking about, hallelujah, amen. When, when, when the old group areas act, the old group areas act was implemented. Hallelujah. I'm proud to be an Indian. Hallelujah. I'm proud to be a South African. That's who I am. I'm born in this place. I'm a South African. Hallelujah. Everybody, amen. Everybody that is born in this place, you are a South African first. Because Jesus does not address you as race. Write it down. Jesus does not address you as a race. Jesus address you as a human being. Hallelujah. As a child of God, if you accepted Jesus Christ. Glory to God, glory to God. In the olden days, I remember they should build houses. Hallelujah. You know, they took the Indians and threw them in one corner. They threw the black Africans and threw them in one corner. They took the colors and threw them in one corner. The group areas act. Hallelujah. Amen. So we were not allowed to go here. We were not allowed to go there. We were not allowed. But the houses... There was an Indian organization called the House of Delegates. I called them the House of Delhi Goats. Not the House of Delegates, the House of Delhi Goats. Because they ripped us. Hallelujah. They built low-cost housing. Hallelujah. With no proper foundation. And when the storm come, rain come, those houses started getting cracked. Big, big holes start coming on the foundation, on the walls. Hallelujah. Why? Because the foundation was not right. The foundation was not right. Hallelujah. And that's what happens today. There's a crack in your life. There's a crack in your marriage. There's a crack in your character. There's a crack in your family. There's a crack in your business. There's a crack in keeping relationships. There's a crack in your fellowship. There's a crack in attending church because all over there's a cracks because you cannot honor your pastor. You turn against your leaders. You push for promotion. You get angry and bitter. Hallelujah. When you feel you're entitled for something and it's not given to you. There are cracks, character defects, because your foundation is not right. I'm talking today and the Holy Spirit is addressing issues, confronting issues, and the word of God is healing you this morning. Don't run away. Muni Belega, Muni Hadlo. Hallelujah. Let the word of God address the issues. If you go to the doctor and if you've got a certain problem, the doctor has to diagnose, do blood test and diagnose the problem and attend to the problem. Hallelujah. And that's how the word of God is. The spirit of God diagnoses you and attends. Hallelujah. Everything is a heart issue. Everything is a soul issue. And God is saying, strengthen your foundation. Some of, the, some of you will have to go, hallelujah, and dig your foundation again and put cement back there, put concrete back there and reinforce your foundation. You know, when I was building, when we were building the, the new church that we are in, hallelujah, there was a structure there where my office block is built. Hallelujah. It's a very massive. My office block is about a uh, thousand square meters. Hallelujah. And that structure, only the structure, because the people vandalized that building to the core. And only what was left there was the structure. And the structure was a little bit of slanted. Hallelujah. So the guys that were building had to reinforce that structure. Hallelujah. They had to pull that whole structure and align it. And when they aligned it, hallelujah, in front of the structure, they had to reinforce it. They dug two meter deep down. Hallelujah. Amen. And two meter deep down by one and a half meter square. And they filled that place up with steel. And they filled that place up. Hallelujah. With concrete and cement. And then the front wall of that structure where the office block 
was being built. They built almost a 500 millimeter, half a meter wall. Hallelujah. And in the center of the wall, there was a gap. They filled concrete in again. Hallelujah. Amen. And they reinforced that structure. And now it's four years or so. That structure is solid. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you will have to dig in your life. Glory to God and reinforce your foundation because your foundation is not strong. And that is why there's a cracks appearing in your life every time. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I pray today the Holy Spirit is revealing to you the root cause of the cracks in your life. Hallelujah. Why are you experiencing certain things over and over and over again? I pray and I cancel those recyclical events in your life because you are going to focus in your found on your foundation. Is your foundation right? Is your belief system right? Is your thinking right? Is your prayer life right? Is your Bible studying right? Are you belonging to a church, a good word-based church? Can I repeat that again? Write it there. I belong to a good word-based church. Hallelujah. Not somebody that hype you up every time I prophesy on you. I prophesy this time tomorrow. Things are going to be better. And 10 years now, this time tomorrow has never happened. And you're still running for the same prophecy. No, somebody that's going to say to you, hallelujah, strengthen your foundation. Somebody is going to tell you, get your prayer life right. Somebody is going to tell you, get into praise and worship. Somebody is going to tell you, mature in Christ. Somebody is going to tell you, get into Bible studies. Somebody is going to tell you, hallelujah, amen, submit and become a family in the house of God. Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Foundation is very important. Listen to me. Glory to God. And I'm closing. Matthew 7, verse 24 to 27. I'm going to elaborate on the scripture next week. Hallelujah. Position to prosper. Remember, I'm not in prosperity yet. Remember, prosperity will never come to you if you're not positioned right. Write it there. Prosperity will never come to me, no matter how many prophets prophesy on me. No matter how many conferences I attend, prosperity will never come to me until and unless I get my foundation right. Hallelujah. Because God knows if he prospers you, the first wind of trials, the first wind of testing will blow you down. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, the greatest famine, right it there. The greatest famine now is the famine of the word of God. The greatest famine now is the famine of the word of God. Everybody is preaching to fill the church. Everybody is preaching to fill the church. They're not preaching so that your life can be transformed and you can walk in the wholeness of God. Hallelujah. And you will become impactful in the community. Everybody, most of the people are preaching for what's in it for me, what they can get out of you. Hallelujah. People are not preaching anymore to build you. Hallelujah. So that you can mature and you can turn into a preacher. You can turn into a teacher. Many are preaching so that they can focus you to them, that you become dependent on man. But a great preacher, a son and a daughter of God, will always turn you towards God. To depend on God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. Listen to me. And I want you to ponder this in your life the whole week. Until I preach on Sunday on this message. Glory to God. Still building the foundation. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Therefore, whoever hears this saying of mine and does them. What? This is so powerful. Whoever hears the sayings of mine, Jesus himself is talking and does them and does them. Say, I need to be a doer, not a hearer. Write it there. I need to be a doer and not a hearer. For how many years am I hearing but not doing? Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. A glass of water can be kept here. And I'm thirsty and I'm going to die of thirst. I can say I have faith in that water. 
that is going to cure my thirst. But if I don't take it and drink it, I will die. So faith is useless without works. Write it there. Faith is useless without works. Faith is useless without action. There must follow with every faith. There must follow action. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So Matthew 7 verse 24 to 27, the Bible says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to him, to a wise man who built his house on the rock. Hallelujah. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall. For it was founded on the rock. Hallelujah. The winds came. The winds blew. The rain came. The flood came. Because the man was wise. Whoever hears my saying and does them. This guy was a doer. Hallelujah. He built his house on the rock. And the rock is no other than Jesus Christ. So the winds, the storm, the flood represents the trials of life. Represents the storms of life. Represents the test of life. Represents when you get into a problem like what we are facing now in the world. Hallelujah. The floods, the rain, the storm represents when your marriage is hit. When your family disintegrates. When your name is on the retrenchment list. Hallelujah. You are diagnosed with a sickness. Hallelujah. Amen. What does these wise Men who built on the rock do. They don't complain. They don't lose hope. They don't get helpless. They don't run from conference to conference, prophet to prophet. They get on their knees. They open the Bible. They call upon God. They get into aggressive praise and worship. They hold a prayer meeting and they confess the word. Hallelujah. Even the sickness knock next day and say, I'm still here. They will say, but by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. God sent his word to heal me. Poverty knocks and they will say, Jesus became poor so I can be rich. Hallelujah. Unemployment knocks. They will say, if one door closes, another will open up. Hallelujah. When marriage has the problem, they will say, Oh, I took a vow in the presence of God for better and for worse. Hallelujah. They quote the word of God. They memorize the word of God. They meditate on the word of God. They trust on the blood cleansing power. They trust on the authority that God has given up, given them. They decree, they declare, they prophesy, they infirm, they confirm the word of God. Nothing moves them. Nothing shifts them. They're unshakable. They're unmovable. Why? Because they know that the grace of God is sufficient. Hallelujah. Amen. They know that the promise of God is a and amen. It's unshakable, unmovable, unmovable unchangeable glory to God glory to God I'm going to close here hallelujah I'm going to close here and I'm going to continue this message on Matthew 7 verse 24 to 27 is such powerful hallelujah to to position you to lay your foundation down so we can build higher into prosperity and once we come into prosperity you will understand how God prospers you because your foundation is right lift up your hands hallelujah glory to God I preach myself blessed this morning come on you never hear me hallelujah I preach myself blessed this morning and I believe you are blessed wherever you are I cancel lift up your hand I cancel erroneous false wrong doctrine wrong belief in your mind in your heart Hallelujah. That is what is keeping you in bondage and in chains. I pray you accept the grace of God upon your life. Hallelujah. I pray you accept your position of righteousness. If you accepted Jesus Christ, no matter how weak you are right now, it is not about your self-righteousness, self-worth, self-works. It is about the works of Christ, the provision of Christ, the blood of Jesus. Are you questioning the cleansing power of Jesus? 
When you look at Paul, when you look at Peter, when you look at all the great men of the Bible, when you look at Abraham, hallelujah, amen. Abraham lied to God. Abraham was scared and fearful, hallelujah, amen. And, and he lied that his wife was not his wife because of fear. Abraham was hasty when God promised him a, a, a son of promise and he, and he took his maid and, and made an Ishmael. Hallelujah. But God called him a, a friend. Hallelujah. Because his heart was right with God. Hallelujah. And it was considered as righteousness. Today, I want you, yes, I'm talking to you, everyone that feels condemned. Jesus died for you. The one that is on the street right now. Hallelujah. I want you today to open your heart unto Jesus. Those that have the pressure of certain things going on in your life right now. And in your secret and your privacy, you are dealing with it. I'm here to, I'm here to tell you Jesus loves you with an unconditional, unjudgmental love. Hallelujah. He said, I've come for the sinners, not for the righteous. It is the sick that needs a doctor. And Jesus is the sin doctor. Write it down. Jesus is my sin doctor. If you don't give yourself to Jesus today and believe that you are saved and believe that you are righteous, you will be condemned and you will drift further and further away from the love, from the grace, from the mercy, from the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Come as you are right now. Lift up your hands, hallelujah, and say, Lord, I take a bath in your mercy this morning. I take a bath in your forgiveness this morning. I saturate myself from head to toe in your grace. Lord, I experience your love. I experience your glory. I experience your presence because it is through Jesus only. It is not through me, not through my self-effort. There's nothing that I can do can make me perfect more perfect. There's nothing that I can do. Those that are judging me, hallelujah, those that are judging me right now, they are not more perfect than me because there's no more perfect and less perfect. Everybody is, is seen through the blood of Jesus and the blood of Jesus makes everybody in the same standing. Glory to God, glory to God. Do not run away from God this morning. His grace is reaching out to you this morning. Hallelujah. And once you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Romans 10, verse 8 to 10, daily trust in Him. Daily trust in Him. Reject condemnation. Reject any thoughts that is not of God in the name of Jesus. James 4, 7 says, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. And as you give yourself to God on a daily basis, God will cleanse you. His blood will cleanse you. And you will become a totally different person. And you will be positioned for prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm touching this cell phone right now. Every person that is online right now, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, O oh God, your lo unconditional love is touching them right now. It's giving them a spiritual makeover. It's turning their life around. Closed doors are opening up. Marriage is being restored. Family is being restored. Jobs are being restored. Promotions are being restored. Blessings are being restored in the name of Jesus, Father. Health is being restored. Every sickness being healed. Lord, I pray for this destiny helpers coming the way. I pray, God, you are making a way where there seems to be no way. A miraculous change is taking place. A miraculous supernatural makeover. Lord, I pray today, grace them with your presence. Grace them with your presence. 
Let every condemnation and guilt and shame be removed. Let every wounded soul be healed this morning. Everything that is deep down in the souls of your children that is causing them to think in a different way, act in a different way, be healed right now as your love fills their soul. Lord, I commit them into your hands. They are going to have a beautiful day, a beautiful week ahead as you embrace them with your love and as you hold them dearly to your heart and open the heaven's door for the floodgate to open up and blessings to follow in the name of Jesus. And they shall be testifying of your goodness, O God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, I believe you, are pray you have been blessed. Share this message. Is a message for the now season. People need to hear the word of God. There's a famine for the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm blessed as I preached myself. Blessed this morning. Get ready for next week Sunday's word as we go deeper. But let's meet on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Tuesday on 7 o'clock for divine connection. I pray the love of God, the peace of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon you till we meet again. Have a beautiful Sunday and a beautiful week. In Jesus' name, we love you. We are praying for you. If you are not on my prayer list, send me a WhatsApp message, 081-304-9579. If you are not on my prayer list, send me a WhatsApp message in the name of Jesus. God richly bless you. Shalom. We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry, which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, apps like Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection pin. Because when you sow in good soil, Indirectly, your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.